Sometimes when it gets a little too cold, it's easy to forget to smell the roses or maybe the orchids. Starting this weekend, you can take a break from the winter weather and visit the Orchid Showcase at the Denver Botanic Gardens. Joining me now is Erin Bird with the Botanic Gardens. Thanks so much, Erin, for being here. Of course. Happy yeah. to be here. Yeah, so and we always love to have displays and things to show. Mm -hmm. Denver residents can see hundreds of exotic blooms at this year's showcase. But for those who have never heard of this, what can we expect this year? Sure. Every year we have our Orchid Showcase and it takes place in our Orangerie and Marnie's Pavilion. So it's indoor spaces. So you, if it's cold, it's a great way to um, pop inside and warm up. And we have hundreds of colorful blooming orchids um, on display from the very common um, moth orchid that a lot of people might grow at home mm -hmm. to more unique and rare varieties um, that you may not even realize look I didn't like know an that orchid. Was an orchid. Yeah, I know, exactly. that's fantastic. And then this redwood, all three of them are orchids. Then, they right? are, yeah. yeah. So I know Valentine's Day is coming up, and um, it's just a good time. There's always a good time to buy flowers for people. Mm -hmm. You're actually going to be selling some of these. We will, yes. Select Saturdays uh, this month and in February, we will have Fantasy Orchids on site selling um, orchids that you can take home and, and give a go yourself. And so you also, um, people can actually take pictures of their orchids and send them in too. Is it a contest or what's it going is, on? This it is, it is a fun. photo contest, yeah. yeah. this um, We have done the photo contest for a handful of years and it's super popular. Um, so between now and the end of the show, which is February 20th, you can um, submit photos that you take at this year's Orchid Showcase okay. um, on our Facebook oh. or on your Facebook or Instagram and then tag us. There's information on our website. And Mike's camera is the sponsor, so they are giving away gift card prizes. And then also the three top winners get to take home an orchid from the display. Oh, fantastic. So a quick question for you. I love orchids. They're always so pretty and they're such great gifts. I know so many people like to give them as gifts. But um, are they difficult to take care of? Or what's kind of the secret to, to getting them to rebloom? Everyone says they can be super easy and then I get it and then I can't get it to bloom again. So how do, <laughs> sure. you, get, how do you take care of one? Um, well, orchids do kind of have a bad rap of being like, really hard to yeah. take care of them persnickety. And some of them do require like some of these more unique varieties do require very specific care but the common orchids that you know you'll see at the big box stores yeah. or a flower shop are pretty easy to take care of they just um, like low light so no direct sun mm. okay and um, warmer temperatures so not to have them right by a really cold window in the winter and then continual moisture so not um, like soaking in their pot but you don't want to let them dry out oh okay great tips Erin thank you so much for being with us you're Can't welcome wait to check out the show at the Denver Botanic Gardens and remember you can learn more about the Denver Orchid Showcase right now on our website. We got all the info there for you, cbscolorado.com.